so what is going on today youtube back again with um another game of vendred zombies and you can see my hand is very terrible and before you ask yes the chat is uh blocked off because of some th some things were said by my opponent which i do not want to let everybody know what happened or what he said so it's all right i just blocked it off and there's that but anyways as he starts off with a tour guide i use the ash blossom on the tour guide once again i do not know if that's even correct a correct move uh on Yu-Gi-Oh pro you can do it um but i don't know if it's correct move I, I don't know i have to talk to a judge or you guys can let me know down below because it does say from hand or deck and pretty much what i'm thinking of is stardust and snipe pointer where with snipe pointer you can't negate snipe pointer because you do not know if it's going to pop and then my my reasoning is how can you negate something that because uh, Ash Blossom says if you special summon from your deck, you can discard and negate it. But what if he chooses his hand? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you guys will let me know down in the comments below. If anybody does know the ruling for that, let me know. But he doesn't even have a target in his hand. So, um, I mean, I guess we can get away with it. So here is where pretty much the whole thing started with the chat box because I, he uses drag down. Show me the hand, right? I mean, at first I clicked the hand and he special summoned the beige. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? And then... He draws a card and then put a random card back, which I don't know. That could be like one of the cards that it could have been a spell card that he had in his hand or something like that. Like, I don't know what it was because he doesn't put it back to the top of the deck. So we go back and forth and then he tries to say, you know, he's not going to use Bage. I'm like, dude, dude is mandatory. And he's like, oh, uh, I was just playing or something like that. I'm like, OK. And then after that, I just I, I, I just stopped after that. But. Anyways, it, the whole first couple of minutes started off pretty weird, but I do have a terrible hand, but the drag down did get me to a stage, so I'm feeling pretty good. I'm thinking, all right, now we can, you know, we, we can really get our plays off, so I'm checking this graveyard because I'm like, uh, dude, it's like, it's, it's mandatory. You have to get the beige back on the board, and that's the only, be I mean, clearly that's the best choice out of snow and beige, like, why would you discard snow? Like, that's just dumb. So, as you can see, he goes into the attack. I take 13 to the face. But I'm alright because I do have the Sage and I top deck to Swallow Slash, which is so good. And I know this is not looking like a Vendred deck because we're drawing all these sheer new cards. But there's such an important factor to the deck. The fact that Swallow Slash pops to, it's so good, man. I just really love this. I really love the sheer new cards added to the Vendred deck. Um, the more I've played with the Vendred deck, like the more testing I've done with this deck, uh, it's, it's, it's very apparent that we, we need something to, like, get the monsters on the board. I don't know how to really how to explain it, but, like, we like for Slayer is the best when it's when it got effects. But when you don't have effects, you really can't do a lot of the plays. So it's like, man, it's just, it's just very hard and it's very frustrating when you have, like, you have, you say it, so when you have Solitaire and then you also have, like, a Revenant in the hand. Like, it then, like... It comes down to okay, what what do you want to do? You know what I mean? So it's it's weird, but hopefully we do get some busted cards. So as you can see, I'm going for the double Omega play, and then here I almost banished my Solitaire, which I really didn't do, didn't want to do, but I see, looked at my graveyard and bam, we do have the Ash Blossom, so we can definitely use that to go into an Omega, and then you guys already know what's going to happen here. We can go to another Omega, so. Here, I do a fancy, fancy, fancy play. So I go into Omega, uh, use the effect to banish. Then since I do have a Gozuki and I do also have a Solitaire with a Spectral Sword that is live, we can definitely do some things. So I use Gozuki to send another Mizuki to the grave. Now I'm not going to discard from my hand because I Solo Slash is clearly, you know, a very good card. Uh, but also what we can do is we can get two different side frames involved in the play. So as you can see, I can go to a level seven, which you guys can probably already guess. Yes, we're going into a Zeta and we're going to banish his beige because it's in attack position and it was special summon. So that's fine with us. And then we can use our spectral sword in our graveyard, which is just fantastic. That's going to get us a, uh, a Archfiend zombie skull out. I'm kind of thinking about going back to um, the other. What, is, what the hell is it called? The six star? Uh, oh my god I, I can't believe i forgot that i don't really use the card but you guys know the other this this share a new six star that's zero defense i want to go into that because it does have zero defense and that's really the only thing i do want to go into that for so i attacked with the archivine zombie skull then i attacked with spectral sword and set 
my swallow slash face down so i'm thinking all right i got this in the bag because not only do i have a swallow slash for the gate uh for the gates i also have uh i, I also have protection from battle i can pop i mean if i can get the swallow slash off i can pop a third card um i really feel I'm pretty good and then i get two cyframes back and then i tell him right here you know it's, it's only on my stand by, standby phase and then he activated reckless greed which i'm thinking about chaining to but then i don't and then he activate the desires and i'm like oh fuck this bet is gonna destroy me because he's gonna be able to use gate and start getting at my back row with the graphics and stuff like that so now i'm just worried right now i'm thinking please just don't just banish at least at least one grapha that's that'll be good enough for me banish at least one grapha so he, uh what's the name he banishes 10 to draw two for the desires and i'm thinking all right he's going to use the gateway i mean the gates he's going to you know start getting his plays going but then he does a very big mistake he ends up i think setting a card first and i'm like that is all i need so now i'm just waiting for him to say he's going to use gates effect he's i believe wait well you'll see when, when he when he does when i activate my swallow slash that's when he activate and i tell him that uh yeah it's a cost to use gates so he's going to banish his tour guide to attempt to activate gates and i chain the swallow slash to go ahead and get rid of both of those in here i believe i banish another solitaire because um i don't want to waste the spirit master because it is at one actually i banished smith okay well i banished smith i, I thought i banished something else but that ends up being the victory because he banished all three graphics which he ends up telling me in the chat so yeah that is it for today i hope you guys did enjoy the video i had a lot of fun playing it you guys can leave your suggestions below let me know what you think about the deck and stuff like that and if you would like to support the channel all i ask is if you guys can click and add that would be very helpful and i appreciate it very much so thank you and that is it for today see you guys in one more duel in a couple of hours